Matthias De Ligt's rise at Ajax has been nothing short of sensational and the 19 year old defender now stands as one of the most promising young footballers in world football. And Manchester United, as we all know, we desperately need a new centre back and a new leader and De Ligt would tick both of those boxes and more. But what are the chances of De Ligt joining Manchester United this summer? What I'm going to do in this video is run through the full story of De Ligt's potential moves whether that be to Manchester United, Barcelona, Liverpool or Man City, and look at the context of the story. What are the chances of it happening? Now, before we get into it, as you know, if you're new to United People's TV, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell as well, get involved. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into it. Now, the first question to ask is, will De Ligt actually be leaving Ajax this summer? Edwin van der Sar, who is now Ajax's CEO, has pretty much confirmed this is going to be the case. Speaking before Ajax's Champions League semi-final against Spurs, van der Sar said, I think these will be De Ligt's final games with Ajax, but I hope he goes out on a high. He's been here since he was a child, and I think he'll go to England or Spain. So van der Sar there, pretty much confirming that De Ligt is going to be following Frankie de Jong out of Ajax this summer. But where will he be going? One potential destination is United, and the latest from the Telegraph suggests that United do have a chance of signing De Ligt this summer. They say that although United cannot offer De Ligt Champions League football like other clubs, the idea of being United's poster boy as part of a regeneration and revolution under Solskjaer is something that massively appeals to him. Now I hope the Telegraph are correct in this and that United do have a chance of signing him because there's stuff that other clubs can offer that we just can't, but the idea of De Ligt being the leader and the poster boy of this revolution and regeneration of United under Solskjaer, maybe that does appeal to him. And he can have a quick chat with Yap Stam or Van der Sar, maybe with Van Nistelrooy, maybe even Daddy Blind for a little bit, about what it means to play for United and how, how big a club it is, because we are a massive club. And if De Ligt really does want that leadership role, he'll get that more at United than he will anywhere else. But on the other hand, there are other clubs interested. And Sky Sports are reporting that Barcelona is where De Ligt is going to be joining. So what have the Spanish press been saying about this in the last couple of weeks? It is being widely reported that Barcelona are the favourites to sign him, but that the deal isn't done yet. And two points have been mentioned recently as to why that is the case. Number one is the idea that De Ligt does not feel he would have a proper leadership role at Barcelona in comparison to other clubs. And number two is the idea that other clubs have come through with bigger and better offers for De Ligt than Barcelona. And that's been followed up in the Spanish press by the idea that Barcelona won't be bending the knee to De Ligt to give him whatever he wants to join the club. They've already signed Frankie de Jong and it's the logic there that the deals will be quite similar if De Ligt was to join as well. But is his stock higher? Is he worth more? That's the suggestion here, is that other clubs are going to be offering De Ligt more than Barcelona would and that's a bit of a sticking point. But you can absolutely understand exactly why Barcelona would be favourites to sign him. De Jong is joining his teammate from Ajax this summer. He's already gone to Barcelona. That deal has been confirmed. And Barcelona, they're in the midst of a rebuild as well because Real Madrid are going to be spending big this summer. Barcelona haven't won the Champions League in a couple of years. They need big signings too. They play total football. Johan Cruyff, one of their most famous players, is so important to De Ligt. And there's just... A ton of reasons why Barcelona would be the favourites to sign him. But they're certainly not the only other club interested in signing him. As van der Sar said, he expects De Ligt to join a club in either England or Spain. But as far as England goes, United fans, we all know that right now we're not the most exciting proposition. Certainly not if you want silverware next season. So maybe Liverpool will go in for him. Sky Sports are reporting that Klopp doesn't actually need a new centre-back. But maybe De Ligt will be tempted by Liverpool. You know, they've got Van Dijk, that'll be an incredible partnership there. He's already got a Dutch compatriot there in Van Dijk as well. They play similar style of football to Ajax, high tempo, high intensity. Again, you can understand the reasons. If it is Champions League football that De Ligt wants, join the team that's been in the final for the last two years, as much as it hurts me to say. It all depends on the priorities of exactly what De Ligt wants. And that's why I don't think that United can be ruled out of signing De Ligt just yet, even if we can't offer him Champions League football like Liverpool and Barcelona can. But for all the clubs involved in wanting to sign De Ligt this summer, there is a spanner in the works, a big spanner, and that's Mino Raiola. He is De Ligt's agent, and he is the scorn of modern football, as far as I'm concerned. 
the real money man agent. United fans know all too well about the power that he can hold over a club and a player. And that's an interesting point to think about here because if De Ligt is getting offered more money from whether that be United or City or Liverpool or any other club apart from Barcelona, how much power does Raiola have in determining where De Ligt joins? Because by the sounds of it with Paul Pogba, Raiola had a massive influence in where Pogba went. Sure, he would have wanted to come back to United as well, but Raiola seems to have more power over his players than most agents. And if he does want to chase, like Patrice Evra said, if he just takes his player to the club with the most money, maybe that's going to be United again this summer. Maybe that's why De Ligt would join. But if it is down to wanting to be a leader, then United is the right choice there for De Ligt because he would be the leader in that dressing room. He would be the leader of this rebuild that we are doing at the moment. We don't have anybody else in this team, as far as I'm concerned, that deserves that accolade at the moment. And he wouldn't get that at Liverpool because of Van Dijk. He wouldn't get that at Barcelona because of Pique. If that's truly the main priority for De Ligt, then United really has to be considered a genuine option for him. Yeah, we can't offer the silverware next season. Liverpool and Barcelona can offer that much more. But United is one of the world's biggest football clubs. And we are in the midst of a proper rebuild, hopefully, this summer. And if De Ligt does want to be one of the centrepieces of that, He'll get that at United more than he would at any other club that will be in for him this summer. And if you don't really appreciate and understand just how much of a natural leader De Ligt is, check out this video of Ajax's celebrations in Amsterdam with the fans after they've won the Eredivisie title. Maar wat er belangrijk is, wij hebben laten zien wat Ajax is en wat Amsterdam is voor stad. Wij hebben laten zien waar wij voor staan en dat is aanvallend voetbal. Wij hebben laten zien waar die grote boven ons, wat hij wou en wat hij, had, wat hij van ons verwachtte. En wij hebben het met z'n allen gedaan. Ervaren spelers, jeugdspelers, allemaal en de supporters. We willen jullie ongelooflijk erg bedanken voor dit geweldige seizoen. En we zien jullie weer verder. He's 19, for crying out loud. He's a monster of a man, mentally and physically. Just, he wants to lead and it's that priority what takes precedent for De Ligt this summer is it trophies next year United isn't the best option is it the idea that he wants to be a leader United maybe is the best option because we don't have any at the moment it all depends on what stage of his career he wants to get to next season because at 19 he can already be playing in Champions League finals he's already played in a semi-final but if it is the idea that he wants to be the centre and the leader of the team, then United, we have a chance of signing him. But there is one thing I'm concerned about with De Ligt here in this whole situation we're discussing. If it really is about the money, then United will probably get him. But that's been part of the problem we've had for years and the, something that we're hopefully going to change this summer. If he did join just for the money and turn his back on silverware and, and trophies, would you be able to question his ambition? I'm not sure. But Raiola scares me. And what he's done at United has hurt United. And would he do the same thing with De Ligt? And would United do the same thing and just usurp somebody just with more money? I'm not sure. But maybe De Ligt would be the right sort of player to pay over the odds for. Because for me, he is a generational talent. In a transfer market, and, a, and a, so is football as a whole, there aren't many leaders and world-class centre-backs like De Ligt, let alone at 19. He's got a decade or more left in his career. And wherever he joins next, he's going to be an established top-level star already. And United, you know, we do bring through the youth. And Solskjaer is a manager who believes in the youth. And maybe that'll be another reason. But if it's, as I said, for that leadership role, that's what I'm clinging on to there. Maybe desperately, but who wouldn't be desperate to sign De Ligt this summer? But if he wants that, he'll get that more at United than any other club he could join. But do you think United have any chance whatsoever in signing De Ligt this summer? Or is the fact that United won't be winning any silverware, probably any time soon, going to be the main reason that means he won't join us and the fact that we can't offer Champions League football next year? There's plenty of reasons why Barcelona is a better choice. Maybe Liverpool as well. But it all depends on what De Ligt wants. And maybe 
it depends on who's lining Raiola's pocket more than any other club. That's a bit of a concern. But let me know what you think about the whole De Jong to United or Liverpool or Barcelona. Where do you think he'll end up? And do you feel that United have any chance of signing him this summer? Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. Make sure you subscribe to United People TV if you're new to the channel. Until next time, though, take it easy.